Hey guys and welcome back to Film Gusto. For this video, we will talk about how Jason Momoa speaks on apologizing to Johnny Depp. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop on right to the video. The court battle between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard has been a roller coaster ride. Given the numerous lawsuits centered on the media coverage and public discord surrounding their marriage, as well as the high profile nature of both parties' celebrity status, it's not surprising that emails and text messages from a slew of other celebrities have been included in the legal proceedings. And that includes Jason Momoa. Many elements of the actor's private lies have been made public in the three years after the Pirates of the Caribbean star filed his $50 million libel claim against the Aquaman star. Several celebrities were invited to testify. James Franco and Elon Musk are among them, with the latter famously challenging Johnny Depp to a cage battle in 2020 after accusing him of having an affair with Amber Heard. Franco was also embroiled in rumors of an affair and had already been drawn into the Sun Legal battle. Paul Bettany, who has already expressed his displeasure with having his private correspondence with Johnny Depp subpoenaed for the lawsuit, served as a video link witness for the Jack Sparrow actor. Bettany's legal team also represented text communications from 2015 with Depp, which included harsh language directed towards the Oscar nominee's ex. Text exchanges and emails between Amber Heard, Jason Momoa, and James Wan, who co-starred with and directed Heard in Aquaman, were all included in the actress's evidence list for the trial. They also included letters from J.K. Rowling and the former Fantastic Beast star, as well as correspondence from Jack White, the former lead singer and guitarist of the White Stripes. None of the contents of this correspondence has been made public to this point. Well, Jason Momoa received a lot of attention after implying a neutral stance on the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard verdict. Both Depp and Heard's Instagram posts, which were personal expressions about the judgment conclusion culminating in a win for Depp, were liked by the Hawaii native. The Pirates of the Caribbean star thanked the jury for giving him his life back while Heard expressed her dissatisfaction with the decision. Several fans have expressed their displeasure with Momoa since then, stating that the neutrality is not the correct approach in a domestic violence scenario. Despite the former couple's Instagram postings, Momoa has remained silent about the decision. Fans campaigned hard to get Amber Heard out of DC's Aquaman at the start of her defamation trial against Johnny Depp. Depp is supposedly planning a comeback with an upcoming record with Jeff Beck now that he has won the trial. Meanwhile, Heard's career appears to be on the decline. Walter Hamada, president of DC Films at Warner Bros, testified in the defamation lawsuit that Heard's controversy with Depp was not the reason for her limited visibility in Aquaman 2. During a pre-recorded deposition, Hamada said of Heard's character, Mira, that the character's involvement in the story was what it was from the beginning. Then he claimed that the studio had concerns about the actress's natural chemistry with Jason Momoa, the film's lead actor. He stated, editorially, they were able to make that relationship work in the first movie. He then added, they didn't have a lot of chemistry with each other. He then continued, the reality is it's not uncommon on movies for two leads to not have chemistry. It's sort of movie magic and editorial, the ability to sort of put performances together with the magic of, you know, a great score and how you put the pieces together. You can fabricate that sort of chemistry. During her testimony, entertainment business consultant and expert Catherine Arnold indicated that Aquaman was Heard's A Star Is Born moment. That's why she, Momoa, the film director James Wan were dedicated to her and adamant that she will appear in the film. She also defended the actress against charges of lack of chemistry. In the earlier draft of the film, she stated Heard had a strong romance arc throughout the entire film and some terrific action sequences. She said that her part was dismissed after five hours of daily training, with the majority of the sequences taken out and her role radically reduced. On Twitter, Casey Walsh of Geeks Worldwide reported that all of Heard's scenes in Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom have been removed. According to the writer, Warner Bros. execs agreed that Mira would die during childbirth at the opening of the sequel at the meeting. DC has yet to provide an official statement on the incident as of this writing. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.